Hey, what's up? Today I want to tell you a big fat lie that's going on in the industry right now. And uh, this is something, it might be a little controversial, um, but let's dig in. So what the heck am I talking about today? Well, it's pretty simple. A lot of coaches, and what you can do is after this video, you can go verify this so you know that I'm telling you the truth. A lot of coaches, what they do is when they start a business or they're trying to grow a business, they focus on building a brand, right? They focus on brand building. And you see this, you'll see it on Instagram, you'll see it on Facebook. Uh, and a lot of people, what they do is they just do the same thing that everyone else does, right? This is very, very common with trainers, right? A lot of trainers see what Billy Bob is doing down the road and they're like, all right, well, that's working for Billy Bob. Billy Bob is getting, uh, 40 likes on his Instagram post. Uh, he's getting comments. So I'm going to do what he does so I can be relevant on social media. The reality is like, if you're relevant on social media, I think that's important, but it's only important if that's getting you clients. It's not important if you're just building some, some brand on there that gets a bunch of likes and comments. I've already talked for years about why that's wrong, right? And why you should be focusing on your business, not your brand, right? But the biggest problem that I've, I've seen, especially recently, is now there's a lot of people giving advice about building your brand and why building your brand is going to help you grow your business. And I will tell you, that's not true, right? It's not true. And this is coming from someone who's already mentored and worked with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of coaches worldwide on building their business. And we never focus on building the brand. That's, that's never something that we even touch, right? We focus on, all right, here's how many clients we have right now. Here's where we want to go. How are we going to get there? Period. All right? Period. And what I've noticed is a lot of people now are attracted to trying to build their own brand and build, build something that is really big online. Okay? Now, if you look at some of these social media like gurus, Right? And you go actually tap on their followers list, you'll see that a lot of the people that follow them aren't even, um, they're, they're not even like the target audience, right? They're not even remotely close to the target audience. If you scroll through some of the comments, you'll see, and you click on those people, you'll see those people don't even live in the same area, right? And this is why it's funny to me that you know, a lot of business owners are attracted to that because it, it all comes down to self-esteem. You, you want to have people like you. You want to have recognition. I will tell you, you need to be the one who flies under the radar, right? And I can think of right now, just off the top of my head, five clients that I'm working with right now, um, total, right? And I'm saying total here. Their businesses are generating over... Uh, throughout the year, $1.5 million, all right? Total, five people total. Uh, those people are like ghosts on social media, absolute ghosts. You wouldn't even know who they are. You would have no idea who these people are and why. Well, it's because they're not doing what everyone else does. They are focused on old school marketing. And the way I look at old school marketing, I break it down very simple. They're getting tons of referrals every week, right? They are actively promoting their business to their clients that they're already working with. They're constantly talking to people in their area. That is old school marketing. All it requires is a phone. That's it. Don't need to post a ton of videos. Now, am I saying posting videos is bad? No, I'm not. Like, th there can be great strategies there. A lot, of, a lot of other clients I work with, crushing on social media, right? If you've gone through our, our testimonials page, you've probably seen 
who some of those people are. They're great at social media. That's worked very well for them, right? So you can absolutely succeed by doing videos. But the big lie that I see is a lot of people are going, are gravitating towards that. They're not building a business, they're building a brand, right? And the final story that I'll give you here, and uh, I think this will really open your eyes to what's possible. But this was about eight years ago. I remember I, uh, I wanted to meet up with this tennis coach that lives in my area. And this guy, he's an older gentleman. He's been a coach for decades, right? Very established tennis coach. And uh, he was, was always very well known for running like really successful camps and clinics. Um, and when I'm talking about really successful camps and clinics, I'm talking about like anywhere between like 15 to 30 grand every time he'd run a clinic, right? Now, he also had a staff. It wasn't just him doing everything, right? Very established guy. And um, I remember I went into his office. We were talking. Um, I briefly told him about what I do. And during that time, I was looking to run some clinics as well. So I wanted to learn from this guy. And uh, I asked him, I said, John, how are you getting so many of these kids to your clinics? And I remember like a week before I met him, I sat with someone else. They're like, yeah, you need to be on social media. Like, like this is going to be huge coming up. <laughs> and this shows you how, how long ago that was. Uh, and so I was in my head thinking, all right, well, I know this coach probably has a lot on social media. He's, he's probably ahead of the game right now. And when I sat with John, the tennis coach, uh, he didn't even know what Facebook was. Zero, zero clue. He probably still has no idea. Right. And when I asked him, though, I said, how are you getting all these kids to, to come to these clinics you're doing? He he said, you know what, Ben, I want you to look look across the table and see that book right there. And he had one of those old school contact books that older people have. And uh, I was like, OK, uh, you know what's in there? <laughs> and he was like, that has every single parent name parent telephone number and parent email address that I've ever met or come in contact with over the last 40 years. And I was, in my head, I was just blown away. He's had this, this book for four decades. And he goes, you know what I do? I take that black contact book there and I have my phone right there and I sit in this room until I sell out my clinics. All I do is I dial. I dial my contacts that I already have. And what I do is after someone buys, I get them to refer someone else to the clinic. So now I'm getting twice as many people to the clinic every time I close one. And as you can see there, he's not hiding behind Facebook. He's not running ads. He's not posting a selfie on Instagram, right? He's not doing any of the stuff that you see everyone else do, right? This guy has, has generated, I mean, at this point in his life, probably multiple seven figures of, of revenue from just clinics, right? Because he runs those all the time, still does, right? So here's the lesson. Don't do what everyone else does. Just because you see some big ballers on Instagram do things, that doesn't mean that you should be doing it too, right? And... A, a real following is not a bunch of people who like and comment. A real following is customers, right? And I'll give you a crazy stat to think of. If you were non-existent on social media, but you have 20 clients, right? Each client's paying you $5,000 uh, to work with you every year, making $100,000 a year. Z you know, zero social media presence. Don't really ha have to you know, entertain people on there, You're not using that for anything. You're just building your business. You're under the radar, right? Or you could have a hundred thousand followers and you know, maybe you're making 50 grand a year, which would you rather have, you know, a hundred thousand followers making half the amount of money or twice as much money, not having to do anything on social media. All right. So think about that. I, I know that should challenge the way you think. 
Um, but I can tell you, I've talked to a lot of these influencers that you've seen, that you watch. Not everything is cracked up to, to, uh, to what it looks like. So that's it. If you like this type of content, you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. You want to chat with me, text me 210-960-5771. All right, see you later.